Now I have the great pleasure to introduce uh, our Dean, Professor Martha Minow, to all of you. I couldn't think of any person better suited to deliver uh, a few welcoming remarks. Martha is on a very tight schedule and we are deeply grateful to have you here. Uh, Dean Minow, uh, first and foremost, is a strong supporter and actually a wonderful leader on the use and creation of open educational resources here at Harvard and beyond and has been thinking deeply about educational reform in the digital age. Uh, second, uh, she's a subject matter expert on law and education, so uh, she could teach us a lot actually about the policy layer of our discussion when we talk about OER infrastructures. And last but not least, Dean Mino has also a master's degree in education and has been a lecturer at the Ed School here at Harvard. So uh, in pretty unique ways, you combine both the theory and practice of teaching and learning. And we are really grateful uh, for addressing us. Thank you, Dean Mino. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you, Urs, for that very nice introduction, and I'm sorry what I hit. Okay, thank you. Uh, it is a genuine and a deep pleasure to welcome you all here. For many reasons, uh, I wish I was just saying to Colin, I'd like to stay here rather than do the things that I have to do next. Um, but let me just say a couple of reasons why I think it's just so terrific. Uh, I do believe that we're at an inflection point in education. I think that the possibilities represented by actually three different ideas represent that inflection point. One is the technological change about which so many of you are experts. The second is learning uh, theory and uh, empirical research on how people learn. We suddenly, finally, have the beginning of a science about how people learn, how different people learn. Uh, and, uh, and then finally, I think there actually is even a political, maybe even a legal, uh, movement towards uh, understanding education as a fundamental right, as a right to which everybody has uh, an entitlement, and that includes information. Um, and I think all of that adds up to this being just an incredibly exciting time. I know that right here in this room are uh, the people who will construct this future, who will make the future, and there are choices to be made. There are choices to be made about architecture, about sharing, about what does facilitation mean. There's choices to be made about how much to take in the design of teaching materials the different learning styles of different people. And there are choices to be made about how much to mirror or crack open the influences of the past methods for delivering human knowledge and human education. So if once upon a time there was a library in Alexandria, and then there developed monasteries, and then there developed universities, and then there developed laboratories, then we have the internet. And the question is, will the internet mirror those other institutions that have, in some sense, doors, that have walls, that have accreditation ideas? Or will it indeed uh, launch a whole new era in the way that human beings connect around learning. Um, I know that the future is gonna be made by people right here. I think the possibilities of informal learning and learning outside of formal institutions, um, uh, in some senses, uh, is the promise of the right to education rather than access to particular institutions. And the development of Credentialing is a really interesting phenomenon, and badging, and are there multiple ways to recognize knowledge and learning? But as, you, again, people in this room know better than I do, what's really now uh, possible in a way that never was possible before is interactive learning, and learning of uh, co-production of learning, learning that is not one direction, that's not simply receiving information. Um, and what we do know about learning theory is that that's the best way to learn. The best way to learn is to be actively engaged. So I'm not telling you anything that you don't know other than the fact that I think what you're doing is fantastic. I also am very proud to uh, support the Berkman Center here, which is the, our laboratory, our cutting edge, uh, our break open the old models. 
um, and uh, to, to be able to put together so many wonderful projects supported by the Hewlett Foundation uh, with uh, the, our friends and colleagues from the Berkman Center um, is, is, is an honor and a thrill, and I know good things will come from this. So if you see me sneaking in from my other event in the back, you'll know why. Um, I love the words in the program here, play, a word that we don't see that often uh, at Harvard University. Um, facilitate, another word we don't see that often at Harvard University. Um, I look forward to the uh, way in which you are, you are constructing a future, and uh, I want to be part of it. So save me a seat. Best wishes. Thank you so much.